say that I'm no good for you. People say it constantly because love is blind. So what makes love blind in so many ways? And it's the little thing crazy called love. So today, I am going to make a shout out greetings for my top three comments on my YouTube home for last week. When people tell you like, why are you still with him? You deserve someone better. It's no good for you. You deserve someone better than him. Leave him. There are so many guys. There are so many girls out there. But you know what? Sometimes you don't listen to what other people say and you are still with the person. And that is because love is blind. That what's make love blind. And sometimes you also see in public places that how can they be together some of the of the couples like they were so opposite when you look at them because sometimes you can see that he is handsome and she is not beautiful or she is beautiful and is not handsome but how come they click together that they were still together because opposite attracts and that's what makes love is blind and one of the most important thing why love is blind that people don't know or somebody else doesn't know is that when you show some affections and feelings to someone like inviting them out giving them a compliment and showing that you care about them and you show some special favors to them that is because you like the person and some people doesn't even realize it or they just ignore about these things because they don't feel the same like you do so it sucks but that's what make them blind in so many ways so these are the three tough uh, ways and reasons why love is so blind in real life so you know at the end of it it doesn't matter what people think you know when you are with someone even though they disagree with it as long as the important thing is you are happy you follow your heart because life is too short you want to be in love as long as it's the right kind of love you know and and that's the most important thing you know always follow your heart so you don't regret whatever decision you make in the end so that's my simple tips for today and if you are wondering I have my first here with me and I have my drink here and I have my sanitizer with me all the time and I have bars in case I get hungry and I also have a uh, jelly candies and I have a pouch with me for my makeup and powder if I have to retouch because sometimes you get sweaty when the weather is so hot but before I end the vlog I wanna make a shout out greetings for my top comment in my YouTube home I want to say hi to Sabidi Agus Rahim for driving by and saying hi to me because you know it makes me happy when somebody actually comment in my YouTube page and knowing that someone is really there you know they are actually watching and also i want to say hi to bao sanjaya for the love thank you for the love i feel touched thank you so much to each and every one of you you know you make me so happy every single one of you because it's it's takes a lot of courage for someone to actually comment on youtube you know so sometimes too you know when i am watching some vlogs you know i want to make a comment but i feel like sometimes i feel shy to write down so that's why it takes a lot of courage and to make a comment to some of the youtube page out there so thank you so much and thank you to all my subscribers and new subscribers and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I want to actually show you a little thing about my life after work, what I do.
I got this baby pears and the uh, Barrio Fiesta shrimp paste from the Philippines. I'll show you. And it's so spicy and I actually want to eat this because I cannot find the green mango which is matched to the shrimp paste and you know the Canadians they don't like the smell of the shrimp paste because they're not used to it. They thought it was stinky because it's a shrimp that's preserved. They were very very tiny but when you are from Asian countries this is very common and this is famous in the Philippines with the green mangoes and the shrimp face and bagoong together you can see a lot of vendors from the street that they were selling this so i cannot find the green mangoes so i found uh unripe pears that i actually try a little of it and i want to have a mukbang with you to eat and try it but you know i was so surprised that unripe pears because the pears is so crispy and it's not ripe it goes together with the bagoong and the bagoong is so spicy so this is what i do just a little bit like that and mm, it's so good So this is what I do after dinner when I'm home. Sometimes I still feel hungry so I eat some snacks. You know this Bayo Fiesta is the best brand of shrimp face. Mm. It's actually addictive. And I can eat a lot. That's the baby pears. They're unripe, they're crispy, and they're actually sweet. It just tastes like a guava, unripe guava without seeds. Mm, so good. I can eat more of it. Right. I don't know if you feel, feel, don't feel bored watching me eating, so maybe I'm just going to eat a little bit in front of you. I don't know if you hear that, but they were so crispy. It's so spicy. Mm. Mm. It goes to your throat, the spice. But you know the spicy, it gives you an appetite to eat more. I'm just busy these days, guys, because it's so tiring to prepare for your wedding when you don't have much time you know when you only have less than two months of preparation so that's the reason why i always i'm always busy and i will going to show you how our invitation look like and i was actually planning to change my toenail polish afterwards if not today maybe tomorrow because i want to wash my hair tonight and take a long time to dry this mm. i think it a lot of it it's so good a good match actually this one alone it's so addictive that I can get enough of the shrimp paste or bubble oil.
I tried different kind of shrimp paste, but Barrio Fiesta is the best. I'm going to share to you our invitation and it's ready. We actually ordered it online and it took only like within seven days and it already arrived so that was very quick. So it looks like this. One second. So this is the front of the card but I have to cover it because of the private information there i'm not comfortable to share it yet in public our personal information there that's why i cover it so at the back of the invitation is our initials is name and my name my name is m and him is the s and then the RSVP looks like this. So the invitation is similar to this one, except this is all black and silver letterings. And at the back, it's the initial two. And then we have the envelopes with the flowers and the leaves there. And to put here the name of the guest, and in front here is our address and the name of the card so that is our invitation guys and i'm just excited to share it to you and i'll see you on my next episode if you have any suggestions and comments and a blog that you like me to cover please don't forget to comment and thank you so much and i'll see you on my next video bye